Rosa Shanina was born on April 3, 1924, in Vedma town, in a large family of farmers. After finishing high school, Rosa, against her parents' will, walked 50 hours to the Arkhangels train station to enroll in the pedagogical school. To pay her maintenance cost, the young woman Rosa, took a job in kindergarten as a teacher, but when the war began, she had to unite his work and the duty to serve his country. After the German air attacks in Arkhangels, Rosa, with other comrades had to put out the fire on the roofs of the houses, to protect the kindergarten. When she notice of her brother died in December 1941, she went to the recruitment board, and she demanded that they send her to the front line, but she was rejected, for her age. On June 1943, after her persistent demand, she was drafted on the army and was sent to the Central Women's Sniper Training School. At early 1944 Rosa graduated with honors. Even they offer her to keep teaching in the school but she refused and showed determination looking for being sent to the front of the battle. As results on April 2, 1944, they gave her the mond of an all-woman sniper's platoon. Three days later her arrival of the Occidental Front, Rosa made her first kill. She was shook, but the comrades congratulated her. That first shot marked the begin of a short but legendary career. Four months later of that, on her war diary remember her fellings by found her purpose of life. I continue to damn the Nazis as they jumped out of the running tanks. A total of eight tanks were knocked out. The rest were returned back. After all, when I saw the dead and wounded, it became terrible. But I pulled myself together. The matter is clear. We must fight. Avenge the dead comrades. At the end of May 1944, Rosa became commander in the sniper platoon of the 184th Rifle Division, with 18 enemy soldiers and officials murder in her count. Even so, she was frustrated because they still designated her at positions in the rear, by a Soviet politic that keep to the woman out of the front. She wrote in her diary. I sometimes regret that I was not born a man. Nobody would pay attention to me now. No one would spare. And I would fight with all my heart, as I would like. The most strange. But in battle, I'm not afraid of anything. By the end of the year, the Soviet sniper Rosa Shanina was famous for her mortal shot and was named as the Unseen Terror of East Prussia. On the newspaper, Destroy the Enemy, she was congratulated for her 51 enemies' kills. January 17, 1945, after being hospitalized for a shoulder wound, she returned to the front and participated in fierce battles in East Prussia. She wrote to her friend and war correspondent, Pyotr Molchanov. Sorry for the long silence. There was no time to write at all. My fighting life was on the real front. The fighting was fierce, but by some miracle I remained alive and unharmed. The Germans resisted terribly, especially near an old state. It seems that everything was left from bombs and shells. They still had enough fire to keep us close. Maybe they'll kill me soon. Please, send a letter to my mom. You ask why I was going to die. In the bad lion where I am now, out of 78 people, there are only six. And I, too, am not a saint. Well, dear comrade, be healthy. Sorry for everything. On January 27, 1945, in one of the battles, the commander of an artillery unit was wounded. Covering him, Sergeant Major Rosa Shanina was seriously injured by a projectile fragment. The wound was fatal. She died the next day, January 28, in the 144th Medical Battalion. The nurse Yekaterina Radkina, that was with Rosa in her last hours, remembered that moment. Rosa was very badly wounded in the gut. She was in extremely great condition, but there were no groans or tears. She fully understood the seriousness of her situation and regretted she had had no time to do more.
With 59 confirmed Nazis murder, Rosa became in the first woman of the three Ed Service of Belarusian Front to receive the Order of Glory and in one of the deadliest Soviet snipers of World War II. Her legacy stands out around the world.